I did, you know, when I was in college, I did the same thing. I did the newspaper, and then I started to get into TV, and obviously yeah. I like the TV a little more, but but I like the Starting to transition too. to TV now. Love it, love yeah. it. All right, tell us about your game. Well, yeah, you had Seymour coming off a big win on Wednesday against St. Paul, and now they turn their attention south of their border to Ansonia, and Seymour winning the tip off there, but that's not the only thing that they were winning, as the Wildcats were winning the defensive battle too. You can see here Katie Rigiani in transition gets the steal and pass to Faith Thurman going to the basket for two. And Seymour was getting a lot of these easy buckets in the first half. But the Lady Cots didn't stop there. Going on a 23-6 run in the second quarter, Seymour moves the ball around to find Grace Hayes for the mid-range jumper. She knocks it down, make that 25-6 Seymour. And Sonia needs to get some offense going. Natasha Rivera putting a hand up. I'm open, I'm open. Catches and shoots for the wide open three. Her second three of the game. And the Sonia's offense finally barely went with him. She's happy. She's smiling. Look at her face. <laughs> but with seconds left until halftime, Sydney Dressick beats the buzzer for a clutch two. 32 to 9 at the half. Final score of that game. Seymour wins this one easy. 44 and Sonia 22. So the Seymour Wildcats, after going 5 and 5, they win their seventh game in a row and improving to 12-5 and five on the season.